You're, you're trying to play the defense below the three-point line. You still want to contest every three-point shot, but you don't want to extend that pressure. In that game against Coastal Carolina, where LSU lost on the road, they were dominated on the boards. Jershon Cobb on the break. He throws it down. Balance and can lock down defensively. In the corner, the three is good for Alex Marco Tulio. In their win against Western Kentucky earlier on today. O'Brien the third going to the hoop. And we've got an offensive foul. Cobb has it poked away. Another steal by Hickey. And now Hickey has it taken away by Cobb. Curletti the other way. Everything. One of the things you cannot do against Northwestern is take shortcuts. Sherna to the hoop. Good move. Marco Tulio. Three-point shot at the top of the key is good. Pointing towards the person they have. A breakdown communication-wise by LSU. Sherna the steal up ahead for Sobolewski. And Sobolewski draws the foul against Anthony Hickey. Sherna the three. Good. And that's his fourth foul. Sherna for three off the inbound, the big three. Twelfth year with Northwestern. Hamilton has that pass knocked down. Loose ball picked up by Marco Tulio. The other way. Crawford open for three. Got it. And an early timeout called here by Trent Johnson and LSU. An even better shot by O'Brien with the fadeaway. Drew Crawford, the corner three, the air ball, but there's Sherna for the putback. Averaged 23 points and led the nation shooting 62%. One of the things I love about Sobolewski down low, he just whispered to his player, 45 seconds. Stringer back out to Hickey, has it blocked. Great close out by Crawford. And the rebound, loose ball on the floor. It's Crawford with it, finds Murkovic. Hearn the three for the tie. Got it. The thing about it, he doesn't think about how many wins, how many numbers he has. He thinks about living in that moment and just trying to make his team the best they can be at that given moment. And also be patient and disciplined defensively. Now them being rushed. Hearn hits the three. His second three in Northwestern now leads. Like that. Cobb just into the game, hits the pull-up jumper. Turner. Another pass deflected, a three on one. Crawford the other way, hangs in the air, great adjustment. There's no way Justin Hamilton can guard John Cherna on the perimeter. How about the corner three by Crawford? Cherna, the step back, got it. 29 points now for Cherna and a timeout taken by LSU. Looking back door, Cobb hits the jumper. Five point lead for the Northwestern Wildcats over LSU. Another turnover, Crawford going against Stringer. And Stringer reaches in for the foul. Crawford against Turner. Baseline jumper is good and Drew Crawford's feeling it here in the second half. Stringer, no hesitation in the hoop, can't finish. Sobolewski. Up ahead, Sherna, and he's got a new career high. Shot clock at 10, Sherna to the hoop off the glass. 35 for Sherna, and that one's a big one. You do not need to gamble. Jershon Cobb, the pull-up jumper rattles in. There's enough a differential where you don't have to foul. Schoen in the corner, Sobolewski for three. Big shot by the freshman. Now you gotta go if you're LSU. Turner for three. Rebound, Isaac O'Brien called for a travel. Steal and foul if you don't get it. And there is the foul given by Justin Hamilton. Had a ton of points off flare screens, off putting the ball on the ground, getting to the free throw line today by John Sherner. Career high 37, Stringer for three, no good. Sobolewski calls timeout with 6.8 seconds to go. Stringer is about 5'9", Sherner is about 6'9". And now on the floor, that will do it. Northwestern will move on to play Tulsa tomorrow.
88-82. to Mr. Bill Carmody, you're very impressed with your team. John Scherner with a huge performance today. Drew Crawford also showing the ability to score the basketball. And what a great job defensively by Northwestern to settle back into that 1-3-1 zone and really be active with their hands and really create a lot of turnovers and capitalize on the offensive end. And for LSU, this young team, they got a big performance out of Johnny O'Brien off the bench. Certainly something they can learn from and grow with the two more games remaining in this tournament. Of course, this game is a learning experience for LSU. Trent Johnson has to be very impressed with his, his team's performance in the first half. They were showed a lot of intensity. They got out after it aggressively in a defensive end. His big challenge before was sustaining that energy throughout the course of a game. That's where they struggled. Tulsa Northwestern tomorrow, 3.30 Eastern time, right here on ESPNU. Our final score, Northwestern 88, LSU 82. Stay tuned as the DirecTV Charleston Classic, presented by Foster Grant, continues with VCU taking on Seton Hall, coming up next at 5.30. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For Jay Williams and our entire ESPN crew, I'm Justin Kutcher saying we'll see you in a little while.